What's up brand builder, Stephen Horahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video I'm going to share a treasure trove of 21 stunning branding inspiration websites and resources. So you can build a bank of the best design and strategy examples in the world to take design, strategy and marketing inspiration from the best of the best into your next big branding project. Now look, brand building is a creative process and as any good designer or creative strategist will tell you, the best creations start with a bit of inspiration. Whether you're launching a new brand, a new messaging campaign, or you're looking to just reposition or refresh or rebrand, there are some awesome online resources to inspire you. So let's dive into this treasure trove of the best branding inspiration websites and resources that you can use to spark your inspiration and imagination for that next big branding project. Number one, Adweek classic branding inspiration since 1979. Now, Adweek began, as I just said, back in 1979, and it's the leading source of news and insight, serving the very best in the world of branding and marketing. Now, this publication covers everything a strategist or a brand builder needs to know about the advertising and the branding industry, and it's a go-to for marketers who want to keep up to date with the latest news, the latest trends in the marketing industry so that they can take inspiration from some of the very best. It has main navigation sections, including brand marketing, creativity, and inside the brand to show you how some of the best brands in the world map out their markets. Subsections also include innovators and tips for success as well, which provide tools for inspiration for career development. Now, many of the articles are free, but some sections are subscription only, but a regular study of Adweek will provide you with endless ideas for overcoming your strategic brand challenges. Number two, brand new, exciting graphic design inspiration. Now, graphic design company Under Construction launched brand new to illustrate what brands were doing and the strategic decisions being made around visual identity and design. Now, this is a site designed for those who love design. The articles provide commentary, insights, and stunning visuals on how brands are managing or transforming their visual identities to better attract their customers. The site navigation allows you to browse based on industry categories from automobile to media, travel, hospitality, and everything in between, while the editorial category breaks articles down by detail, including reviewed, noted, spotted, and linked to name just a few. Now it's year in review series is really good. It's incredible and it's really helpful to see, you know, what's happening in the industry and those recurring trends as well. Number three, the Branding Journal, an archive of brand strategies. Now the Branding Journal is the obvious destination for brand strategists and brand managers seeking inspiration, full of helpful tips and tricks. And it's easy to navigate to find what you need as well. Alongside case studies and examples, the branding journal is filled with articles about the latest trends and what's going on in the industry to keep you at the forefront. Number four, the dye line, packaging design inspiration. Now, Andrew Gibbs started the dye line back in 2007 to provide marketers with inspiration for their packaging designs. Now, this was a site that I used to get lost in for hours on end simply because of all the amazing content and all the amazing designs on there. It's currently the world's most visited packaging design website, and that's for a good reason. The Dye Line runs a hotly contested packaging design competition that attracts some of the best packaging designers in the world, which is part of the reason that it's such a treasure trove. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about the Dye Line, apart from the amazing inspiration that it serves up, of course, is that it executes on one of the most fundamental aspects of branding, and that is specified targeting. These guys know who they are and they know exactly who they're speaking to as well. They're all about packaging design and they stay in their lane. Number five, brand struck, specific examples of big brand strategies. Now, if you, like many strategists and marketers, want to know the biggest and the best strategies out there, what the biggest and the best brands are doing, then brand struck is there to help you. Now, this Premium database includes a wealth of case studies of different brands, including huge corporations like McDonald's, Nestle, Chanel, and more. 
And it's a great educational resource if you want to learn more about what works for the biggest brands in the world, how they're structured, and the archetypes that they're using as well. Number six, Site Inspire, interactive web inspiration. Now, Site Inspire is an amazing resource of inspiration for web design. There's a big focus here on interactive websites, shining a spotlight on the designers and the agencies behind them as well. Now, the site features an array of tags and filters so you can explore the websites that you love the most, from industries like music, property, and recipes to styles like monochrome, editorial, and retro. You can find everything that you're looking for here with the right filters. Number seven on the list is Dribble, where designers show off. Now, Dribble is an online community where brand designers upload and showcase their own work. Now, this was founded back in 2009, and this resource is incredible for the backlog of top tier branding and marketing visuals that it taps into. So brands, freelancers, and teams, they upload their campaigns to Dribble to show off the best of the best in branding, marketing, and design, including case studies and examples. Number eight, BPO, opinions from the experts. Now, branding, packaging, and opinion, as in BPO, has been a leader in the branding industry for over a decade now. Founded by designer Richard Baird, BPO began as a blog and then flourished into this publication that it is today. Now, the resource offers daily brand design inspiration with case studies and examples of visual identity designs providing endless inspiration to brand builders and designers all over the world. Number nine, awards, recognizing the best in web design. Now awards recognizes the web design industry talent with a jury of experts who dish out awards. They give awards to agencies, developers, and designers who submit their own designs for review. Now awards judges sites based on a few different criteria, including design, creativity, content, and usability. Alongside the jury, the awards community can also vote for their favorite designs and get involved as well. The result is an extensive resource of some of the best examples of user experience and user interface design in the world. Number 10, marketing examples, super concise marketing inspiration. Now for marketing examples, it's all in the name really. This website compiles daily inspiration into an easy to use homepage where you can scroll endlessly until inspiration strikes. There are some helpful categories within this website as well, including brand and creative to limit the articles that you're looking at. Now, all of the articles are quick and easy to read. So if you don't have hours to spend learning about branding and instead you just want a quick hit of inspiration, then the information is punchy and it's straightforward and genuinely helpful as well. Number 11, The Drum, marketing news every day. Now, The Drum is a leading publication with over a million readers. Articles are published every day on the latest trends, along with forecasts and predictions as well of what's about to happen in different markets or what will happen in the future. Now, I really like the navigation menu on this site as well because it allows you to browse categories like creativity, modern marketing, and digital transformation. There are even some awards case studies so you can see what the best brand strategists in the world are doing to achieve recognition. Number 12, Ads of the World, Global Success Stories in Marketing. Now, Ads of the World, or AOTW as they go by, celebrates creativity. Now, I have spent absolutely hours scrolling through this site and diving into the best digital ads and guerrilla marketing tactics that are out there. And if you love clever, witty branding and ads, then this is an absolute treasure trove of some of the best of the best. So the way it works is that the Ads of the World team scours the web to find the very best ad campaigns in the world, publishing them online to boost their reach. Number 13, Identity Design. Graphic inspiration by David Airy. Now, David Airy launched Identity Design back in 2010 as a side project to highlight his favorite branding work. Now, it's always a good sign when a site is run by a branding specialist themselves because they can share their expert opinions on specific work. And that's what I really like about some of these sites who are run by industry experts who have been there and done it. Airy shares hundreds of his favorite design projects and writes a little description about each one as well. So the whole site is a treasure trove of inspiration that you can use and you can use to lean on 
somebody else's expertise as well and their opinion to really reverse engineer their thought process. Number 14, SaaS landing pages, software as a service inspiration. Now, SaaS landing pages is a great place to find inspiration for creative web designs. Now, as you would expect, the website has detailed breakdowns of each website, including mobile designs, font, color scheme, and much, much more. Now, although the site does promote SaaS landing pages, the inspiration and lessons that you'll find are applicable to far greater reach of categories. So you don't just have to stick to SaaS landing pages with this inspiration. You can take the inspiration from here and apply it to another category. Number 15, logo design love. No prizes for guessing here that this is all about logo inspiration. Now for logo inspiration, logo design love is like a little slice of heaven. It's another brainchild of David Airy, owner of Identity Design. Now this website is a little bit similar to his other one with a huge focus on the visuals of brands, specifically on logos. Each logo offers a window of insight into the brand and Airy sometimes shares his opinion on some of his favorite pieces. Number 16, the design blog, a fresh perspective on branding. Now the design blog does exactly what it says on the tin. The homepage boasts the slogan, don't just be a designer, be a good one which is a great motto to live by as a brand builder. Now, there are sections of the website to browse with the uploaders posting daily content according to a theme. For example, on Mondays, there's a Designer of the Week award. Later in the week, there's a Web Design Wednesday showcase. But my personal favorite is the Saturday Recommendations, where the bloggers share absolutely everything they find inspiring from movies to art to books and music and websites to give you that hit of inspiration on a weekly basis. Number 17, I'm just creative, an evolving portfolio of inspiration. Now, independent creator Graham Smith created I'm Just Creative to celebrate his favorite brand identities, including his own portfolio. Now, Smith has over 30 years of branding experience, so his opinion is incredibly valuable. Now, his design blog features everything from breakdowns of fully fledged marketing campaigns to snippets of inspiration like vintage bus tickets and open source collections of sharing design principles. Number 18, Behance, a community of visual inspiration. Now, Behance is an online community of designers where anyone can post their work. And as a result, there is a large database of designs where you can access a broad range of materials. The search bar dominates the homepage, so it's easy to find exactly what you're looking for. There are also tons of filters to explore as well, so you can organize the website and get more curated designs, most recommended, more appreciated, etc. So you can really find what you're looking for and you don't have to sift through too many things that you're not looking for. You can even search by color as well, making it a really, really useful tool if you do want to find inspiration for a brand which, which has a blue color palette or a red color palette, for example. Number 19, Pinterest, inspiration at your fingertips. Now, social media platform Pinterest is not always used by brand strategists, but it is an extremely undervalued resource. To many professionals, Pinterest might seem like it came and went. It certainly seemed like that to me for quite a long time, but it's been a constant slow burner churning along in the background and establishing convenient links to some of the best branding work on the planet. Get clear on some of the keywords that you're after and Pinterest will serve you the best images and boards linking back to the source and acting as kind of a control room for endless inspiration. Number 20, Pretty Little Marketer, designed for freelancers. Now, Pretty Little Marketer or PLM is a resource designed specifically for freelance marketers to help them to thrive in an increasingly competitive market. Sophie Miller, the face behind PLM, started the blog as a personal portfolio, but now it's grown into a fantastic resource for marketers. Now, something else I like about PLM is that it's ideal if you're looking for inspiration specifically on personal branding because Miller has been there and done that and she knows exactly what she's talking about. Now, although the website itself is a little bit more limited, the PLM social media channels, specifically Instagram and LinkedIn, share way more tips and tricks than the website does. And number 21, Medium, fresh opinions on branding. Now, Medium is a collaborative resource where writers share everything and anything, but it's also a helpful resource for brand builders as well. So tags like branding, marketing, brand strategy, they're really helpful for finding the inspiration that you want to know. 
experts in the field share their knowledge and their portfolios as well, making it a great place to see some unique inspiration. Now, what I also like about Medium is that it provides a gateway to engage with other brand strategists and marketers in the community who you can ask specific questions to. If you're working on a campaign or if you're working on a project and you see another strategist in there with experience in that field, don't be afraid to reach out to them and make those connections. Now look, there are plenty of inspiration sites on this list, but chances are when you're working on a project and you need some inspiration, you're working on a specific area. So maybe you need inspiration with identity design, maybe it's web design, maybe it's brand strategy, or maybe it's marketing strategy. So take this list, categorize the different areas of branding and marketing, and when you need inspiration, make sure to jump in there and be inspired by some of the biggest and the best brands in the world. Now, if you want to dive deeper into brand strategy, then this video here will help you out. But before you click it, if you want to become a master of brand, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to get notified with new videos just like this. Until next time, brand like a master, and I'll see you in the next video.